Good day. Situation as of the evening of 8th of November. Kursk region. Ukrainian formations from a drone attack the electrical substation of the Glushkovskaya distribution zone in the Kursk region. As a result of the incident, the station was not damaged, there were no casualties. Donetsk direction. Units of the People's Militia of the DPR continued the operation to reach the flank of the Ukrainian group in the Avdevsky fortified area. The battles for Vadyanoi, experienced and Pervomaisky resumed. Taking settlements under control will expand the security zone around the Donetsk agglomeration and go into the flank of the Afu grouping in Audiuka. In Marinka, intense fighting continues. While the calculations of the MLRS and artillery of the Russian troops are working on targets on the western outskirts of the settlement, the assault groups are moving towards Drizhby Avenue, 200 meters are left to it. Ukrainian formations again shelled large settlements of the DPR. As a result of the strikes in Donetsk, several civilians were killed, including one teenage girl. As a result of the strike on the electrical substation in Yasinovataya, a significant part of the city was de-energized, three boiler houses were put out of action. Work is underway to restore power supply. In the Uglider sector, fighting continues in the vicinity of Pavlovka and Novomikhailovka. The armed forces of Ukraine are deploying additional units to hold the line. The command of the 72nd Mechanized Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine deployed a battery of AHS Crab self-propelled howitzers in the Elizavitovka area and an ATGM crew and three heavy machine guns were deployed in the vicinity of Novomikhailovka. In Novukrenka, at the headquarters of the 68th Jaeger Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, a point for the interrogation and detention of Russian prisoners of war was organized, Dnipropetrovsk region. The Russian armed forces carried out several strikes using the Jaren-2 UAV Kamikaze on the objects of the armed forces of Ukraine in Krivoy Rog. At the same time, Russian troops hit enemy positions in Marganets, Ilyinka, and Vyshaterasovka, Starobelsk direction. In the Kapiansky sector, units of the 14th Mechanized Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, due to significant losses in manpower, switched to positional defense. Ukrainian UAV crews are conducting reconnaissance of the positions of the Russian armed forces in the area of Lehman 1 and Olshin. In the Svatovsky sector, the combined assault groups attempted to storm Kuzmovka. Russian troops stopped the advance with artillery and aviation fire. In the Lemonsky sector, the assault group of the 1st Battalion of the 66th Amber, reinforced with armored vehicles, attacked the positions of the RF armed forces in the direction of Makevka. The attack was repulsed. At the same time, strike detachments of the 90th Battalion of the 81st Air Mobile Brigade and the 2nd Battalion of the 25th Airborne Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine tried to break through the defensive lines in the direction of Rubizhna. Artillery fire from the Russian armed forces drove the formations of the armed forces of Ukraine to their original positions. Southern Front, Nikolayev Beroslav Direction. Against the backdrop of rumors about the imminent withdrawal of the Russian armed forces grouping from the right bank and leaving the north of the Kherson region, Ukrainian formations undertook reconnaissance in force in three areas Posad Pokrovsky, Beroslavsky, and Snigarevsky. At the Beroslav sector of the armed forces of Ukraine today, they conducted reconnaissance in force. Three mechanized platoons of the 60th Infantry Brigade and a platoon of the 515th Special Forces Battalion, supported by cannon artillery and six self-propelled guns, went on the offensive northeast of the village of Dudchany. During the fighting, the consolidated units of the armed forces of Ukraine managed to break through inland, gaining a foothold in the farm area two kilometers west of Dudkin. Almost at the same time, Artillery crews and crews of self-propelled guns of the 60th Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine in Trifonovka and Petropavlovka fired at the positions of the RF Armed Forces in the area of Borzensky and south of Novaya Kamenka. Pre-installed mine fields and active fire from Russian troops stopped the advance of Ukrainian formations. At the moment, consolidated assault groups are digging in in the occupied areas and clearing the area. Now the command of the Armed Forces of Ukraine is preparing to continue the offensive. At the command and observation post of the 9th Combined Battalion, a command-level meeting was held before the assault. On the morning of November 9, the Consolidated Strike Group, together with reserves and equipment of the 17th Tank and 128th Mountain Assault Brigades, will continue the attack in the direction of the southern outskirts of Dudkin with the aim of further access to Milovy. On the Snigarevsky sector, the Ukrainian army, having collected reserves from Vizhunsk and Beraznagovatoy, was able to gain a foothold on the northern outskirts of the settlement near the railway lines. See you soon.